Hey guys, I know it's been a minute since I did a mukbang mukbang. How is everybody doing? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everybody is well. Today, let me show you what we got. I've been wanting to do this on my channel for forever, but I haven't even had IHOP in forever. I got the big steak omelet from IHOP. And I'm only going to have one. It comes with three buttermilk pancakes, but I only got one going on because I don't think I'm going to be able to eat all that. So... Let me start getting this situated. Can y'all see my food? I should switch my plate. If I should switch my plate because y'all can't see it that good. But y'all hangry. I haven't had IHOP in whew, so many years. It's been so long. It's been a really, really long time. Yeah, explode, yeah I, I know it's it just probably melted. It just exploded all over so. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, mine didn't do all that. Um, <laughs> mine was still a little bit solidified a little bit. Get a little butt on here. But yeah, y'all. I hope everybody as well. A lot has changed um, in the world since uh, I've been on here chatting with y'all. We have a new um, elected president and vice president, which I'm very happy about. Congrats to Joe and Kamala, first black woman, woman of color, uh, VP and all that good stuff. And Biden, I mean, you know, he white so whatever. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying he cool, but he ain't like the first or nothing. But, you know, coming on, former VP, now turned president. That's what's up. Oh, right, let's get into this. I'm so hungry. This is salsa. I'm a, oh, I need some pepper. And some hot sauce, y'all. Gotta get all the stuff on some pepper. But yeah, I hope everybody is doing well, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of update on just how we've been and how uh things going here in Chicago, cause they ain't going great, y'all. They ain't going great. Unfortunately, I do like a little ketchup. Got a little ketchup. Looking at your little before like you ain't never seen him before. Tripping. <laughs> anyway, y'all be tripping. Let me get this. Open this thing up. Let's see. They do look a little smaller. I ain't gonna lie. They better be just as good. Not that I could ever finish them before anyway, but it does look a little smaller than what I remember. I feel like they was bigger. The omelets back in the day. Let me get this bite in, y'all. I want a bite. Mm. It's still good though. <laughs> I was hoping I'm like, y'all, I ain't had this in a long time and I was gonna be very disappointed if it wasn't still good. Cause this is the only thing I order from IHOP when I do get IHOP. We don't really live that close to an IHOP. We got this through Uber Eats and stuff. Get a little bit of pancake. A little pancake, little pancake going on. I'm not really a big pancake person. Are y'all waffle or pancake people? I'm more of a waffle person. Mm. Need a little bit more syrup. Ooh. <clears throat> That's good too. That's good too. Yeah, we got a little mini dash waffle iron. And I love that thing. It's so cute. I make a waffle in about one minute. Mm. But yeah, y'all. We've been all right. Speaking of just, I mean, me and my husband, we've been all right. It's just been a lot going on in the city. Y'all know everybody been going through the same stuff, you know, as far as, you know, the virus and all that stuff. But... Here in Chicago, we have the um, effective tomorrow. We are back on um, pretty much like stay at home, a stay at home order. Pretty much. Uh, the mayor or whatever put it, announced it a couple days ago. And y'all, that's because cases 
have been rising like crazy on a day-to-day -day basis here. And I can see why, because people started getting way too comfortable thinking that this stuff was gone. Thinking that we was over it. And it's real and it's not going anywhere. And getting way too relaxed. I was sending people out. People throwing parties, like I mean, there's people from the who from the beginning that just wasn't listening. Um, when we go out, I think was it the, the last time because we still try to go out for a walk or go out, you know, go to the store or whatever. But we try to limit that as much as we can. But we go out and we see people not a mask in sight on some folks, and I mean they'll distance themselves. But I'm just like, what are you thinking? Like, why don't you have nothing on? Or like when we want to go out and get fresh air, yeah, sometimes we'll pull our mask out if nobody's around, but that's still on me. And people have just been ridiculous, like just hard headed, y'all. Just hard, <laughs> just hard headed folks. And now this is why we back where we back at. So people don't know how to listen. And this that, cause what makes me the most angry is when. I hear them people going around talking about some old, trying to act like it's not a real thing. Like, it's not, like, it's fake or it's, or whatever. Like, it's a, some big conspiracy theory. And there's been celebrities doing that, too. Not that I care about what a celebrity says, because I'm, you not a doctor or any type of healthcare professional. Because I've seen um, them, people come out and be like, oh, I got a test and it's negative and then it's positive. So I'm not right. Yeah, so I'm not right. The testing ain't right. <laughs> but that don't mean that this thing is not real, y'all. Like, and if people jumping in, believing them and what people saying, I'm like, y'all, people is going to take, twist what you're saying and think another way. And it's sad. And it's very unfortunate. So that's why I wish people would just keep stuff to themselves sometimes. Everything don't have to be put on the internet. And I actually liked a lot more uh, more celebrities when they didn't go hop on the internet for every little thing. Because, y'all, especially now, because people got way too much time on their hand. <clears throat> hop on the internet for every little thing. Like, just hush, child. Just hush. But, so yeah, y'all. We on a 30-day, uh, pretty much only essential people. And if you're going outside for, like, necessities and stuff, that's the only reason you're supposed to be really, like, out right now. Starting Monday. I don't want to like that anyway. Shoot, life but was not on plan. That's our mayor. Um, she was like, don't hang your relatives in your house. Cancel traditional Thanksgiving. All types of stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen though. Ain't nobody gonna cancel their Thanksgiving if they go happy folks over for Thanksgiving. Some same folks, and I mean y'all, people in my family guilty of it too. I feel, but I keep my distance, and it's crazy because I've had people in my own family get the disease, and thank goodness make it out. But everybody isn't so lucky. I was just reading the other um yesterday, uh Chicago native Jeremiah, uh uh he's like a singer, is in the ICU right now with it. And I'm like, people talking about the stuff fake. I'm like, okay. It's ridiculous. But anyway, y'all. Um, wash your hands. Y'all can still celebrate, um, holidays but if you ain't been around people then stay not being around them like keep your circle small the only people you see me with is my mama and that's it that come over here then my nephews when they was here that's it but y'all we're never gonna be able to go outside regular <laughs> again <laughs> because people don't know how to listen it's ridiculous I knew it was gonna happen Cause y'all, it was unseasonably warm in Chicago for a good like almost two weeks, 
and then just started getting cold again. It was like 75, 80 degrees for like the past two weeks. It was popping outside. Everybody was buck wild. Everybody was out there having a good old time. And I was like, oh no, oh no. I was like, this is not going to be good. And people, you know, how that went. And we haven't even seen the cases come back from that because it was like just recently. So we'll probably see the cases from people who got it from when this nice weather we had won't come in until like this next two weeks coming up. So our case is probably going to be really crazy. But... And I just really feel bad for um feel for these restaurants and stuff because I've seen so many restaurants, some of my favorite restaurants, just they gone now, y'all. They just gone, and a lot of places can't recover and whatnot. And I mean, we could we try to support some of them, but we can't just be going to restaurants all the time too. Um, we still unemployed. We got no job like that. Every time I support. Local, I do what I can, y'all. But and the government is still in on vacation, recess, whatever the hell they're doing. They ain't issued out no more stimulus, um, nothing. And you know now that uh, Orange Cheeto ain't win and is refusing to get to concede. He not trying to uh get nobody nothing right now. He like nah, y'all just be poor and and you know. So I'm gonna have to give y'all because the, all that most people stimulus check or and all that stuff let been gone. Yeah, and people rent is still due. So some gonna have to give because this is getting crazy. A lot of people states benefits are almost done and the POA is gonna be expired at yeah. the end of uh, December. So a lot of stuff they're gonna have to revise all this stuff. And I'm sure once Biden come in, he'll have some more ideas and stuff. But for the time being, he is not the acting president. The acting president is acting a plum fool and is a sore ass loser going around talking about some the election rigged and all this other crazy nonsense and stuff. So I'm like, and the thing is, I can't stand about that. Sorry about me talking so political, y'all, but that's all that's going on right now. So it is what it is. Um, talking about some, oh, it's rigged and, huh? Okay, go ahead. And all this other stuff. And I'm like, he ain't helping nothing right now. He is not helping nothing. And everybody, you know, was so happy about, you know, Democrats winning. And I wouldn't say I'm not even a Democrat, traditional Democrat at all. I would say I'm more liberal or like Green Party, but they ain't on the ballot. So I'm just trying to. And everybody's like, oh, the lesser of two evils and all that. And I'm like, okay, and what pissed me off about a lot of people in voting and stuff, and, and I saw this, and I had to delete a lot of people off my Facebook because it was very frustrating to see, especially in the times we are right now, when, excuse me, people are like, oh, I'm not going to vote, or oh, it doesn't matter if I vote, or why y'all gonna vote for Biden because of this, 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 and this, this, this. I'm like, well, I sure the hell ain't. Well, for one, I was definitely going to vote. Um, for two, I wasn't going to sit there and go, what I'm going to do, put Kanye on the ballot. Um, let's be real here. Like, people just wasn't being realistic about their expectations. Everything ain't going to be solved in one vote. Obviously, this country, it's just not going to happen. <clears throat> but at least try to get us going towards a better direction than we in right now. And people just was, y'all, I deleted so many people off my Facebook. It's not even funny. Because I was seeing it and it wasn't even, what are you white folks? Um, it was like a whole bunch of um, minorities talking stuff. Just crazy stuff. I'm putting up some crazy stuff. I just didn't delete so many people in my life off of Facebook. In this past year, because when you start talking politics and certain things, and I'm sorry, they just start getting crazy, and I'm like, nope, not today. I will see you later, sir, or madam. Now I've deleted plenty of people to serve my peace. It's enough I got to listen to the rinsings of a lunatic in the White House 
And then you up here talking crazy. I'm good. That is good. I think I was gonna eat all this. But look, that's not I'm about to probably eat all this. <laughs> I'm real hungry. Shoot. Sure. But anyway, y'all. We all know it's crazy stuff going on. And like I said, Chicago, we getting a little reset back because people don't know how to act and don't know, know how to listen. And I just feel for the um, restaurant business and hospitality. I feel for everybody, y'all. Feel for me, shoe. I know income coming in. We just I'm checking up our savings, and that sucks. It really does because this thing, how I want to be spending it. But gotta live and gotta survive and do what you gotta do. And I hope everybody out there is um, making do the best way they can. It's crazy out here, y'all. But it's the first time that everybody in this, well, not everybody, you know, it's that 1%. The working class, I mean, everybody or majority of people is going through the same stuff at the same time. But anyway, what are y'all doing? For Thanksgiving, I'm still cooking as as I usually do. Um, we probably not, of course, not gonna be um, cause this year we were gonna go to probably Nathan's family side, cause it's his family side turn. Um, to go spend the holiday with them, but you know we ain't doing that. <laughs> um, so it's probably just gonna be me and Nate. Um, probably my mama. That's it, y'all. Um, I'm still gonna be cook I'm probably gonna be cooking way too much. I know, whatever we don't eat, gonna get froze, or we gonna be eating for the next few days. I'm gonna try to scale it back a little bit, a little bit. Um, <laughs> but y'all, I have been wanting some turkey, some dressing, some macaroni and cheese, all that. I have been craving all that because I don't really make that stuff throughout the year because it ain't healthy. Um, and plus I changed my diet a lot, so I'm really not eating a whole bunch of stuff, certain things, and I'll make a video about the dietary changes I made. Y'all know I've been behind on stuff, but y'all, your girl been stressed out, and I've just been, like, trying to take some, um, some pauses off of social media. Now, I still do put stuff on Instagram fairly regularly. If you want to see, like, oh, I wonder how she doing. Go ahead and subscribe to me on um, Instagram. The link to that is in the description. Because I do put stuff up, like, when I do, like, little cooking and stuff. Or my meals. Or, like, I even sometimes have been put, like, little quick recipes on there. And my stories, I'll put that on there, too. Um, Right now, I um, y'all know I've been fermenting stuff like crazy. That has not stopped. I made some hot sauce. I didn't record the rest of that. But I'm still making my kombucha. I haven't made no sapache in a while. But I just started my sourdough. I didn't join on the sourdough um, train. I just started my um, sourdough uh, starter. Mm, it's going good. I can't wait. I will be showing y'all that. I made bread before a long time ago. But not sourdough and not like this. So this is like pretty interesting. And I'm curious to see. But my starter is doing well. Besides it being, um, that ain't what it's syrup at. Um, besides it being, um, cooler around here. But it's fairly warm in my kitchen because the heat on in the house. So my starter's been doing good. I guess I'll keep y'all with me until I finish this food. I ain't gonna eat that last pancake that's over there. I got one more pancake left left but i'm gonna eat all this that's just my um dishwasher y'all that be <clears throat> but yeah y'all the holidays ain't gonna be how they usually are are y'all still um i wonder what they're gonna do for uh you know black friday cyber monday because i'm really gonna tell these store stores that they can't open or something like that um that's gonna be a crazy I won't be out there. You can catch me on um for Cyber Monday. There's nothing really I really need or want for Christmas though. 